Hello Taurus, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection, how do you feel about each other, and what do you need to know about the energies between you. This is, as always, gonna be a general love reading. Uh, so take what resonates for you, Taurus, what applies to you, your situation. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign. Sometimes those can resonate more for you. Um, or any other sign of significance. I have all the playlists for each sign linked in the description box. And um, we're just gonna jump right in. Let's start with what's going on in the connection between you and this person. For Taurus, it's very angels, guides. What does Taurus need to know about the connection between them and the person you're thinking about or dealing with at this time? Now this will be a reading for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind, okay? Feel free to flip the energies around because I am gonna have your energy on one side and their energy on the other side um, later on in this reading. For Taurus, messages for Taurus. So let's see what's going on between you and this person. What are the energies in your connection between you and this person? What's going on in the connection? between Taurus and this person, Spirit. What's going on between Taurus and this person? Let's see what messages we get. Okay, we have Four of Pentacles reverse, Five of Wands reverse. What else, what else? Can I get one more? The connection between Taurus and this other person. Seven of Pentacles, okay. King of Wands reverse at the bottom of the deck. Technically, they tend to make mistakes, get into trouble act rashly without thinking however i have the five of wands reverse i have the four of pentacles reverse i feel like at least one of you in this connection is wondering if you're ever going to fix things or resolve the conflicts between you the problems between you will the future improve will things improve how will all of this play out let's see Get some insight clarity please. for Taurus. Okay, let's see. Tell me about this Five of Wands reverse. Why is the Five of Wands reverse? Ten of Wands. Okay, so I feel like a lot has happened. This is probably a connection that has a lot of years or a lot of situations that have happened that have added up. Someone could also not be dealing very well with the conflict. Maybe someone feels overwhelmed. Tell me more about this Five of Wands reverse. Tell me more about the Five of Wands reverse why is the five of wands reverse wow the tower yeah whatever this is it's been very difficult the moon is at the bottom of the deck pisces energy i think it's been confusing for you or for this other person i think a lot of feelings are probably being hidden or suppressed um or just someone doesn't really know how to navigate what they feel something has happened between you and this person either there's a tower looming that someone can kind of see in the distance and is mentally preparing themselves for and having doubts about or this tower already happened and someone's still kind of dealing with the aftermath of what happened why is the four of pentacles reverse why is the four of pentacles reverse yeah, Seven of Cups. Someone's really thinking, wondering, you know, there's a lot of thinking happening here with the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Now, Seven is a, a number about, like, retrospection, awareness, um, knowledge, knowing things, thinking about things. So it makes sense. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Cups. 
So this is probably an emotional, yeah, there's the Ten of Swords. What happened, Taurus? For the Taurus that I'm talking to today or reading for today, I guess, I guess I should say, um, something bad has happened in your connection. Either your connection is very fractured or there was a separation and ending that already happened. Um, Ten of Swords could also be that someone feels like they've been betrayed, backstabbed, taken advantage of in a very... Um, I, I want I want to say powerful, but that's not really the word. It's like the betrayal was so deep or the taking advantage of was so serious. I don't know what word to use there, but it's it's it, it definitely wasn't just someone getting taken advantage of once. Now, the four of Pentacles is a card about letting go. I feel like someone could be emotionally confused, but maybe wanting to let go of something. But there's probably doubts about the future that are tied up in that. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, this, I, every time I put a Queen of Pentacles down, in a Taurus reading, I immediately think of you. I feel like you're worried about yourself, where you will be in the future, how you will cope or deal with something in the future. Will you be stable, secure in the future? Will you be um, taken care of in the future? Successful? Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Can I get one more? For the Seven of Pentacles, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Devil, Capricorn, Energy. Yeah, there's confusion here, the Moon. I feel like you you feel stuck. If this isn't you, this is your person. There's a feeling of being stuck. And you're stuck also because you can't predict the future. None of us can, really. I mean unless you have a special gift or ability. But most of us cannot predict the future. So because we don't see how things will play out, it keeps us from taking action sometimes or making decisions. Okay, so let's see. That's what's been going on between you and this other person in a connection. So let's see how you're feeling about each other. What are the energies between you? Tell me about the energies between Taurus and this other person. What do we need to know about Taurus or this other person? What do we need to know about Taurus or this other person? What do we need to know about Taurus or this other person? Difficult decision. I think that's on your side. Sorry, I was just thinking about both of you and I didn't really think about who to put the card down for. Tell me about the person Taurus is dealing with. What are their energies? Actually, I'm going to put this in the middle. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their energies towards Taurus, towards this connection? Restoring balance. Okay, what are Taurus's the energy that Taurus is bringing to this connection. What's the energy that Taurus is bringing to this connection? What's the energy Taurus is bringing to this connection? Happy ending. Balancing act. Yeah. I feel like you're the one that's making a decision. And uh, evaluating your options, weighing your options. Your person's thinking about restoring balance, harmony, stability. And you're thinking about fulfillment. Tell me more for Taurus. What do we need to know? Despair, okay. Tell me about the person Taurus is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? person that Taurus is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Gift. Yeah. They want to fix things and they want to maybe give you something to prove that 
you know, they're serious about that or maybe this is in the form of a offer of some sort. So I might pick a secret moon oracle deck. All the decks that I use are linked in the description box if you're curious and want to check them out. All right, tell me about Taurus. What is Taurus thinking, feeling? What do we need to know about Taurus? What are they thinking, feeling about this connection, about this person? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel, okay? What about the person Taurus is dealing with? What are their thoughts, feelings when it comes to Taurus or this connection? What are their thoughts, feelings when it comes to Taurus or this connection? I have a choice to make. Okay, so you both have a choices to make. I'm confused. They're confused, you're confused, we're all confused. <laughs> I think it's their confusion is because it's not an easy decision to make or maybe there's a lot of different things to consider. Now you have despair. So I feel like I'm reminded by that 10 of wands that came out earlier. Hmm. Some of you, there's a situation that involves money. Something to do with money. Maybe you're owed money. A loan or something like that. You're worried about money. That's not all of you, but some of you, you're worried about money and there's a decision tied to that. Okay, so let's see what we can find out here. Let's start with you, Taurus. Spirit, what can you tell me about Taurus and their thoughts, feelings, energies, and this connection? What do we need to know about Taurus? Knight of Cups reverse. What do we need to know about Taurus? I think Taurus, you've been going through something where emotionally you don't feel like yourself. Eight of wands reverse again feeling stuck there's no movement i feel like you want to have some sort of movement or action maybe you're waiting for something to come in but it hasn't yeah judgment hmm i feel like there's something that you are I want to say you're becoming awake to something or waking up to something but i think it's more than that because i was like that's all i was going to say but then i got other messages i feel like this is a final decision for a lot of you now you have i'm afraid to tell you how i feel i think you would need to communicate this decision to this person i'm not sure why but it's like this person has to know what you're thinking or feeling about a decision. If this is resonating for you, Taurus, let me know down in the comments. Yeah, there's a page of swords. I feel like you would have to tell someone, this person, or communicate your decision in some way. Maybe it involves this person? Can we get some more insight, please, for Taurus? Now this person has a choice to make too. You both are like deciding things. I'm not I'm not sure why. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? I keep noticing the color blue. Now the color blue is a color about communication actually. I mean it has many meanings. But communication is one of them. Healing, you know. Judgment came out again. Knight of Cups reverse and judgment. So I feel like this is this decision. It's like playing mentally, it's not easy for you. Or there's something happening emotionally here. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups reverse. 
Blue is also like, you know, the color of water. Hmm. Tell me about Knight of Cups, Reverse Cups, you know, emotions. Ace of Wands. So this is about a new beginning of some sort. Now let me look up the ocean. Okay, so the symbol for ocean or, or some um, symbol meanings, I guess, is like emotional state and movement. So yeah, there's something here. There's a reason why I'm noticing this color situation. Normally, I don't unless I'm doing readings for myself and I'm journaling or something like that. Then I take note of those things. Um, but for you, I want it, it. There's something with the color blue, which is telling me there's something emotional happening here for you. This decision is tied to a, a new adventure, a new beginning, something new for you. I have the judgment card with the ace of wands and then we also have here the six of pentacles and then they wanted to show me the hangman so i feel like you've been thinking about this a lot this is not a decision that happened overnight this is something you've been thinking about a lot and for some reason it's involving this other person tell me about the six not the six the eight of wands reverse Tell me about the Eight of Wands reverse. The Fool. Yeah, this is about you being free, starting a new cycle, starting something new. But I feel like you 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 may be feeling a bit stuck with the Eight of Wands reverse. Like there's not a lot of movement here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands reverse. Can I get one more, please? Maybe you want to get out of feeling stuck, out of feeling this way. Tell me about the Eight of Wands reverse justice yeah there's a six of pentacles again libra energy this is about making things right balance doing again with this finality because justice is like the judge you know giving you their uh final judgment or or, or just telling you you know what the outcome is <laughs> that's what the judge does they listen to both sides they evaluate the evidence and then they make their final decision some of you this could be an official decision so for example something to do with like signing paperwork or going to an office a government office something like that but i feel like it's it would bring balance being free of something or starting something new Tell me about judgment. Let's see what this is about. Why is judgment here? What can you tell us, Spirit, about judgment for Taurus? Queen of Wands. Being bold. Taking risks. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here for Taurus? Ace of Swords, another ace boldly expressing yourself uh communicating something the truth seven of swords is at the bottom of the deck six of pentacles again king of wands interesting this could be strategic because when i see the ace of swords with the seven of swords i think of obviously this is in deception so it's a strategic conversation I feel like you're working up the nerve to, to inform someone or make a decision based off of information here. Yeah, Eight of Wands. There's something happening here that I'm missing. <laughs> I feel it's different for every Taurus that's watching. If you're sitting there and you're not making a decision about anything in your life, this isn't your reading, obviously. But for the Taurus viewers that I'm reading for, um this decision you for some reason have to communicate to this other person and you need to be bold or brave to do so to tell them this and for some reason i feel some of you could be for example telling this person you accepted a new job and you or that you're moving somewhere or that you could even be telling this person you don't want to be with them anymore 
I mean, I see all of those possibilities. So let's see. What else do we need to know? Let's look at your person this time. Can get some insight into this person that Taurus is dealing with or thinking about. What are their energies towards Taurus or this connection? I feel like this person wants to fix things, but I don't know if you want to fix things or if you're even on the same page with this person. Now, they have a choice to make, so I'm curious to see what comes out for them. What can you tell me about this person that Taurus is dealing with or thinking about? at this time what can you tell me about this person ten of pentacles page of cups reverse okay what else do we need to know about this person that taurus is thinking about or dealing with what are their energies towards taurus towards this connection fool and the eight of swords They have the fool as well. So some of you could be dealing with a situation. I feel like these two go together. Where you would both need to make a decision together. You and this person. Maybe you both need to be free or have a new beginning. Interesting. And you're stuck and they seem to be stuck. So this is very specific. You have the Knight of Cups reverse. They have the Page of Cups reverse. Now they have the Ten of Pentacles, which for me as a reader, that's like a symbol of long-term success or commitment. So when I see this card with like Eight of Swords, I think of a marriage or a long-term commitment. Seven of Pentacles reverse at the bottom of the deck. So let's see what this is all about with this person. Because I feel like they're mirroring you. Now, I'm starting to think that perhaps this is one of those situations where you are both prob probably in situations where you feel stuck. And you would have to make a decision to be together or to have a future together. Others of you, I still feel your your decision would be telling this person that you wanna be free of them. And they're very like, they don't want that to happen. I still see that here. We'll see when I clarify what comes up. Tell me about the 10 of, of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Devil. Capricorn Energy. An unhealthy connection, an unhealthy family dynamic, an unhealthy marriage. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, stuck in a marriage, stuck in a family situation. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Strength, Leo energy. I feel like someone is um, feeling like they need to bring this unhealthy situation under control or need to be brave enough to break free of this type of situation. Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Yeah, this is about home. I feel like this is somebody that wants to keep things peaceful, balanced, harmonious. A lot of yellow here for this person. And yellow is a color of like clarity, creativity, intellect. I'm thinking clarity. It's like this person's very clear about what choice they want to make because there's a two of wands. 
and is regarding home life. It's almost like this person's choice is dependent on balance. Yeah, ooh, this is about a departure. Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Ten of Wands, wow. So once again, this decision could be that regarding the fact that someone's leaving. This could be you, this could be them. I think this might be you. Um, maybe you give this person an ultimatum. If you don't do something, I'm leaving, and then they have to actually make that choice. Um, I feel like this departure would really upset your person or they don't want to regret a departure. This is very interesting. Let's keep going. Tell me about the Page of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Page of Cups reverse. Some of you could be um, this Knight of Cups reverse, this Page of Cups reverse. Now that I'm looking at it and you have I'm afraid to tell you how I feel, it could be that you're not expressing yourselves emotionally to each other. But usually the Page of Cups reverse is someone that's very disappointed and heartbroken. Tell me about the Page of Cups reverse. Yeah, Five of Cups. This is someone that's very regretful sad the chariot once again i feel like this person would be very sad about someone moving on or moving moving cancer energy there's a ten of pentacles so this person would be heartbroken if you left or if you moved on or if you made a move of some sort tell me about the fool and the eight of swords this is very interesting i feel like this reading won't resonate for all of you but it's definitely connected. It's definitely about a specific couple that are in the same situation here. Tell me about the Fool and the Eight of Swords. Why is the Fool and the Eight of Swords? Why is the Fool and the Eight of Swords here? Oh, I got two. Five of Wands and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. drama conflict and i feel like it's within a partnership can i get one more for the fool and the eight of swords can i get one more for the fool and the eight of swords knight of pentacles once again two of swords another card about a choice this is someone resisting this decision they don't want to make this decision or they're blocked from making a decision undecided defensive i feel like this gift and this knight of pentacles are tied together it's almost like this person might want to restore balance by giving you something of value like in order to avoid conflict Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot, please. Why is the chariot here? The wheel of fortune. King of wands at the bottom. So, okay, I see two different scenarios. The ones I already mentioned, I feel them still. So the first scenario is you both would need to be free of something to be together. And this person, for some reason, is finding it very difficult, if that is the case, to break free of this situation. I feel like if they were to move forward, they would lose something. And they don't want to lose something. They want to keep things balanced. I feel like you're ready to take this on. You would be ready to make that judgment call in order for you to be together, right? Like you're willing to make this difficult decision. They're not there yet or they're having a hard time. There's like they're blocking themselves from that. <clears throat> the other scenario that I see is you are thinking about cutting free, being free, having a new beginning on your own that where you're very boldly going toward something new and that was a difficult decision that you made and that you have to communicate to this person you have to tell you're going to tell them this however they're going to be very sad about this very upset and i feel like they're going to want to 
distract you or slow you down or prevent you from doing that by offering you something. I still see both ways here. Let's look at this person's true intentions towards you. What are their true intentions towards Taurus? What are their true intentions towards Taurus spirit? What are their true intentions? What are their true intentions? Stingray. Uh-huh. So they don't have the spine uh, to make this decision. Um, I don't know. Let's look at this a little bit closer. I'm sure there's more to that. Developing confidence, sense of self, or spine. A pivotal point in personal growth. The stingray must decide between the old and the new. Pressure from family and friends makes the decision even more complicated. No matter what choice is made now, it's inevitable that this dilemma will surface again and again. As the force of Dharma growing within the stingray is too strong to ignore. So I feel like this is someone that's not ready. Whether you are making a decision together to be together, they're not ready to do that. They're, they're still finding their spine. If you are leaving this person, leaving a commitment that involves this person, I feel like they, it's almost like there's a fear that they have that you would leave this connection. Thank you so much for watching Taurus. If you enjoyed the video or the reading, hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more readings from me and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.